Hello guys, welcome to today's session in Coincept. Okay, so many of the traders or investors, they must be having so many stocks in their portfolio. But uh, when times come, when you are having a profit in those stocks or a loss in those stocks, so some traders, they get confused like which stocks to hold or which from which to take the exit, right? So if you are also confused, though, this uh, video is for you, right? So before starting the video, if you are new here, so you can go in the description, there is a link below and you can download and install the web application of Coincept. Okay, after successful registration, you will get some free tools here. Okay, so you can use them for your trading also. Now, in the learn section, we have video library. So you can uh, use this video, you can see these videos for the Pro Plus tools feature and for the various strategies. They are available in multiple languages. So you can choose your preference also. And at any point of time, if you're having any kinds of query, so you can go in the profile section, here is support, and you can contact us through a phone number and email ID also. Right. So we will be there to sort your queries out. Now coming back to today's topic, as I have told you, like many of the traders, they are very confused. Uh, you know, they have so many stocks in their portfolio, but they are unable, uh, you know, having problem to decide like from which stocks they have to take exit and from which stocks they, uh, they should continue. Right. So for that, there are two main important things. Right. And that thing is first one is the volatility of the market volatility of the market right if the volatility of the market is increasing right so it means your premium will also increase right your premium will also increase if you are holding a good stock that is favorable in your direction right so that is where that is the first important thing now the second important thing is the price rise price so if the price of a particular stock stock is increasing and at the same time the volatility of the stock is also increasing it means there is momentum in that particular stock and the price may continue to rise right the price may continue to rise so if you are having multiple stocks in your portfolio okay and you might be having profit in some of them okay for, for example there are four stocks and you are having four uh, three stocks you are having profit in three stocks and loss in one okay now should I exit this one which is in loss or should I exit this one because it may be like it is at the highest point so now there may be a reversal from that one right so there uh, there is so much confusion so let me clear it for you right now whenever your price will go in the uh, bullish direction or your price is increasing and at the same time the volatility is increasing so I have told you that means there may be a momentum that may continue in your direction so you should hold that stop right now at any point of that any point of time if one of these like if the volatility or the price is decreasing at any time so you can conclude that position or you can uh, you know you can book some profit out of it right so whenever if it if it uh, your stock will fall much okay your price will uh, fall so you will not face much loss or you will not bear much loss in that stock right so for that in the concept application we have a feature here so when you will go in the trading uh, there is sorry in the trading there is a rpg relative performance graph right so the rpg is made out of these two features okay that is the volatility and the price right so now you can see there are uh, four features that is a uh, that is a progressive zone then here we have the weak zone okay then here we have a laggard zone okay and here we have the strong zone right now whenever your stock will go from the top from the bottom to top like this okay so at that time the volatility of the market is increasing volatility of the market is increasing or you can say the momentum of the particular stock is increasing right when your stock will move in this direction from left to right it means the price of that stock is increasing right and what i want i want both of these two conditions i want the momentum also in my stock i want the price uh, also in my stock right so whenever my market whenever my stock will go like this so it means the volatility the momentum is also increasing because it is going a little higher okay and at the same time it is going from left to right so it means the price is also increasing right so this is how we analyze our stock right now how you can create a watch list and how to select your stocks so first of all if you will go here in the settings okay so in the settings you can create a basket here okay you have to just select the symbol so for example you are selecting rt industries then after about india then abfrl okay ab capital so you can create your watch list as per your uh, portfolio and as per your 
preference okay the stocks which you like right now for example i am holding on to these four stocks now i have to decide like uh, on which i should hold on uh, which stock should i take exit from right so i'll just click on continue so these four or five or six stock will be shown in my graph right now there is one more setting that you have to apply you can go in the settings and there is a look back period okay so first of all apply the tail length of one it will uh, you know make my chart a little clear then at the look back period we are generally looking back at a looking back at a pre period of 7 why because generally our trading session is of 7 6 or 7 days right and also if you are going for a long positional trade for like one month or two months then you can also increase this look back period also right for example you are going for a uh, one month uh, period so you can choose the, uh, choose the look back period to 60 also okay now for for the benchmark right now we are selecting nifty because it is a uh, standard indices indices so that is why we are looking our stocks uh, and we are comparing those stocks with nifty right so that is why our benchmark is nifty you can also choose the benchmark as bank nifty nifty mid cap nifty or your self watch list also right so whenever you will choose choose self so what it uh, the graph will do it will compare one stock with overall watch list right so right now i am selecting nifty here okay and i have selected daily if you will go more in the positional trade so then you can select weekly also but right now i am selecting daily you can also select intraday here but the strike rate of intraday is uh, is less as comparison to the positional right so that is why we will select daily here now if i'll collect uh, uh, click continue here so you can see there are four stocks that i have selected now there are two or three conditions that you have to apply for example if you are not in trade in any one of them so you can take a trade whenever this stock will go from the weak zone to progressive zone so this is the day first so you can analyze the stock at that time then at the second day if your stock will sustains if your stock will remain in the progressive zone so that is the point when you can make your entry okay so for example this is not the uh, you don't have to make the entry at second day but if you can see at the end of the day on the second day if your uh, stock sustains here okay then at the third day you can make your entry in this particular stock okay in the morning okay now you can see this is the point where i can book my profit right this is the point where i can book my profit here right so what you can do if you are having 10 lots then you can book 8 out of them okay and you can trail with 2 lots till when till your stock is in strong zone or in the progressive zone so you can hold your stocks till that time okay now at any point of time if your stock will go in this region that is the neutral zone okay that is the neutral zone so at that time you will take exit from your position okay exit your position you because you don't want your uh, premium to get decay or you don't want your stock to perform nothing and your capital will be locked here right so at that time you will exit your exit your position and also if your stock will come here from the strong zone to legard zone so that is also another indication to take exit from your exit from your position okay now this was like how you can make an entry but what if you are already in position with some of the stocks right so for example uh, just suppose these four stocks are in my portfolio okay so i can hold rt industries why because it is in progressive zone so it can give you more profit okay so i can hold on to this stock right ab capital is also on the strong zone so i can hold on to this also okay so i can hold this also ABFRL is also in the strong zone so I can hold this one also okay so this one is also hold it about India you can say when I'm talking about the about India so right now it is going in the weak zone <coughs> right from the progressive zone it is going in the weak zone right now it is not in the weak zone but maybe if tomorrow it will go in weak zone then I'll exit from about India okay so I'm holding on to these three stocks because they are in the progressive and uh, strong zone but when i'm talking about this stock so it is going from progressive to weak so this is the indication that i now this is the time i have to conclude this trade i have to take exit from this trade right so this is how you can maintain your portfolio in overall profit all the times right because whenever a stock is showing you indication that now it is losing momentum and the price is also falling so at that time you are exit you are taking exit from the position and the stocks which are in the good region so you can hold on to those stocks for a longer period of time 
right many of the traders face this issue like whenever the stock is doing good so they just uh, cut their position in between okay even if the market goes even higher right so that is the issue that many of the traders faces right now there is one more indication that you can apply with the rpg graph for example there is a stock that is giving you an indication like it is going from the weaker to progressive zone and at the same time you analyze like in the chart in the graph your your stock is also at somewhere here in on the support right so it is also going from weak to progressive okay and in the second day it's sustained here okay on the second day so the third day is the time when you have to make the entry you can also see here on the first day your uh, stock was at the support on the second day it broke the high of this previous candle so that is the time when you have to make your entry in that particular stock right so this is one more confirmation that you can add with the initiating while you are initiating your entry with the help of rpg okay and if you are already in the position with four to five stocks so you can create your basket here you can analyze your stocks here okay till it moves from uh, progressive to weak or from strong to laggard zone okay so that is the time when you will uh, you know uh, you will generate a good profit in your portfolio right with the help of this indication right so i hope guys uh, this video is useful for you kafi informative raha hoga okay thank you so much this is your trainer ankit singh rawat have a good day